if any of you have chosen paint colors from one of these fans, a lot of times what, you, what you'll find is you, you'll go to a color and you think it's just yummy. It's the best color you've ever seen in your life. And you buy this and you take a whole gallon home and you paint your wall and you scream because it doesn't look like this anymore. It looks like this. Because the little chip, when it gets big and it's all over your room, it makes a big difference. The whole concept changes. My initial rule of thumb for painting is to, if you like that color, Scale it down, notch it down to a much earthier tone. So you like this, but go for something a lot, um, let's say, dirtier. So perhaps this. And when you paint your room this color, it is going to look more like your first color just because of that it's everywhere, believe it or not. Another thing is that you have um, furnishings in a room and artwork and upholsteries and drapes and everything to consider when you're painting your room. So the best thing I like to do is take my fan around to everything that's involved, for perhaps these pillows, and find something complementary to this. Say, I would start by saying this looks nice with that, looks nice with that, looks nice with this couch, it looks good with this table, looks pretty good with the carpet. Looks good with the bricks over there. Um, and so that's a choice. Now let's try perhaps another choice. So maybe the room should be a little greener. Green is a tough one. Um, it, we, we tend to look at a color like this and think, oh, that's a really lovely green. And then you paint your walls and it looks like mint, mint chips. They're just, it's like screaming green. So again, I would, I usually go a lot dirtier and it, it, rule of thumb every time it seems to work, just go a lot earthier and therefore it's a, I call it a more livable color. You can live with these colors. They don't need to scream at you. Um, so perhaps a, a greener color in this room would work. So I take it around to all of my things and make sure it looks right with everybody and everybody's happy. And then at the end of a period, I might have maybe two or three or four of these colors that I think are really good. Maybe in, in completely different color families, or perhaps a golden color, just complementary. And then it's the decision of which color to put on your wall. In some instances, you will have a color in mind, for instance, uh, this color on this wall, and this is the color you must have. And so you want to try and color match that with your fan deck and getting as close as you possibly can. Or if you, um, if you can get a sample of this color onto a piece of paper and take it to your local paint shop, they can usually uh, computer color match it. But this trick comes in handy. So I'm gonna find what I think is closest to the wall color, which probably doesn't quite exist, but this is getting there. So just to show you this little trick that I have, and what you want to do is take a piece of paper and cut two triangles out like this. Put one on the area that you want to match and the other on what you think is the right color. And it is pretty clear as day, <laughs> if they can hold all this up at this time, that these two colors do not match yet. This one on the left needs to be darker. 